Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. In today's video, we're going to do something absolutely crazy. We're going to fly into the heart of Hurricane Lee and Microsoft Flight Simulator. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Let's do this. Okay everyone, welcome back and welcome aboard Tech Gamer Airlines for another amazing flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today, we're going to be doing some hurricane hunting and fly into the heart of Hurricane Lee. So we're ready here to get started. So Hurricane Lee is to the east of the Northeast United States and is moving northward. So let's see here, we need to pick a runway to start from. Because I love everything about Cape Cod, I think I'm going to pick Nantucket Memorial Airport. So I've already gone ahead and selected it here. I'm going to take off from runway 15 and we'll take off to the southeast. And now I'm going to set my destination as not an exact point because I don't know exactly where I'm going to fly, but we'll just set an immediate area of like right here so set as our arrival just so we have a uh, destination to follow we've got the weather set as real-time weather and we are ready to fly so we're going to be flying today in an f-14b tomcat and uh it's an amazing plane and i love using it for hurricane hunting because it's super quick super agile and it makes flying so much fun it is a really capable multi-role uh, fighter jet and we're going to be controlling the f-14b with a thrustmaster t-flight hodus one flight stick here uh, if you have not seen this flight stick check out some of my other videos on my microsoft flight simulator playlist highlighting the thrustmaster t-flight hodus one flight stick it is an amazing entry-level flight stick and i absolutely love it and cannot recommend it enough all right. So we can see here that we are sitting on runway 15, ready to depart. So you can see which way the wind is blowing. I have the uh, visual dynamics of that turned on. You can see there. And we are ready to fly. All right, so let's get it started. So let's switch back to the cockpit view. Here, we're going to bring the plane up to 100% of rated thrust. So let's disengage the parking brake. Here we go. And we are ready to fly. So we've achieved full takeoff power right now. And we're drifting a little bit here because of the wind. And we are at V1. So let's rotate. We have a positive rate, so let's gear up. It is super windy here. Flaps retracted. And we are on our way to visit Hurricane Lee. So there's some other people flying with us today. So I expect this cloud cover to start pretty quick because the storm's pretty much almost to Cape Cod area. All right, so we are at almost Mach 1. See if we can catch passing the sound barrier here. There it is. You can hear the sonic boom for a minute there. I'm ignoring all air traffic control. I'm not going to do that uh, in this video. They will disconnect from us shortly. So we are on our way. It is super windy. Crazy how windy it is. You saw when I was taking off what the wind was like. It started pushing me. So fortunately you have to compensate for that using your uh, rudder controls here as you can see. 
So if you've never had a flight stick before and you're interested in one, the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 flight stick is an amazing, versatile uh, flight stick. It is totally awesome, and it is so reactive, and it's pin pinpoint precision accuracy. I mean, just take a look. If I want to go forward, back. some people up ahead here. Let's see what we can see. Let's go up into the clouds for a little bit here. Let's see what we can't see, actually. Vertical speed is a lot. <laughs> Somewhere between a lot and a lot. So it's actually really calm around here right now much calmer than it was in Nantucket, believe it or not. Sometimes I fly in these hurricanes and I'm getting bounced around all over the place. That's definitely not the case with this particular one, at least not yet. Because this also is just a category one. So Microsoft Flight Simulator has the live weather built into it, but you know, the, the wind and stuff is not... Uh, All right, so air traffic control terminated their services with me. So that's because I did not respond to any of their inquiries. So we're flying pretty fast here, Mach 1.72. Bouncing around a little bit here. So up ahead there, I can definitely see some rain. Looking off to the left. To the right, you can see the differences between the two. So you can kind of see where the storm wall is. Kind of goes like that across the, the way. So we'll see what it's like when we get up further here. So I am flying in an F-14B Tomcat with realism settings are turned all the way down so hence why I'm flying so fast the plane would have broken apart at this point. When I fly in flight simulator and I'm doing hurricane hunting I usually turn the realism settings off just so I can get where I'm going a lot faster. So let's see what we're dealing with up here. 272 nautical miles from the position that I set as my destination. Here we're starting to get bounced around a lot. Now that could be because of airspeed and crosswinds. So far it's so good. We're at 15,000 feet, dropping down 14,000 feet. So we're coming up onto the brunt of the storm here. I guess that other multiplayer player left. I know there is back there is. So we're flying definitely into the storm now. Let's see if we get down below it here. So let's see what if we can estimate what the ceiling is looking like here. The ceiling is actually really low really really low look at that I'm at 
2,000 feet and the cloud cover is pretty much down to the ground here. I've actually not seen this in other hurricanes I've flown in. It's usually the ceiling's like higher. So this is a very low ceiling storm here. See how low I can get. I'll get a little lower here. All right, so let's do the opposite now. Let's see how high we can get, see what we can get to see with the storm. So we're down at literally like below a thousand feet. Let's back up. And we'll head up through the storm now. We're at 97% of rated thrust. Afterburners are on. Ignore the high altitude setting. Oh, it looks like we're popping out at the top here, so top of the storm. Look at that cloud cover. Wow. That's crazy. So we're, we're coming up at max altitude of the F-14 here. Four thousand feet here. Slow it. So that's look how big this storm is. This is a monster of a storm. Try not to uh, stall out here. Let's pick up some speed. Yeah, this storm is just huge. Look how far it goes. As far as the eye can see is as big as the storm is. Let's go ahead and drop back down into the cloud cover, pick up some forward speed. So we've got some forward speed going again here. We'll pick up some more. Down into 20,000 feet. 32,000 feet. We'll drop down a little lower here. Not a lot of thunder or lightning in this particular storm, surprisingly. Usually when I fly in these hurricanes, flight simulator, whether that's factual or not, typically renders it with uh, thunderstorms. You see lightning, thunder strikes, etc. I'm not sure what the uh, realism for that is like compared to what it's really like in the storms. It's hard to say there. Passing 20,000 feet now. That's a nice speed moving here. Nothing to see but clouds. No thunder, no lightning. It's really calm, actually, in this storm. I'm bouncing around, but only because I think of my how fast I'm going. Jeez, I'm pulling 2G, 1.2 Gs there. Just going forward because the afterburners are on. Engines at 100% of rated thrust. We're at almost 900 knots. Let's 
So I could not find a defined I on this storm. Now, it doesn't mean that there's not one. It just means that Microsoft may not have rendered it uh, that well. Or it's just not, uh, you know, depending on how the storm is. What I'm looking for is to see if I can find the eye. <laughs> Fly upside down for a little bit here. I'm surprised there's not more hurricane hunters out. I haven't really seen any aside from those two. going on in this particular storm. Let's go ahead here and bank up above it. I'll bring us out over the clouds for the end to this video. There we are. Cresting the ceiling of this storm right there. It's beautiful up above it. Well, hope everybody enjoyed this Microsoft Flight Simulator virtual hurricane hunting video. As always, if you could click that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be totally awesome. I really appreciate it, and I love providing new and exciting content for everyone. As always, too, if there's something you would like to see, please drop a comment down below, and I will do my best to make that happen for you or answer any questions you might have about Microsoft Flight Simulator. Keep on flying, everyone, and I will see you around. Thanks a lot.